Hi, Mark. So what are we doing today? Hi, Olivia. What we're going to do is we're going to start by giving uh, Juki a brush. So when we brush the dogs, Olivia, we use different brushes for different dogs. Uh, this is a Coat King and it's quite sharp in here. And we use that on the, um, the really long-haired dogs. Uh, this is a uh, Ferminator and also a Rake. So it turns into a Ferminator if we turn it over. And that's for dogs with really short coats. And then we also use a slicker brush as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Coat King on Duke and just demonstrate how that works. If you've got a really long haired dog, you would actually start at the bottom here and just do a little bit of section at a time so it's not pulling down too hard. Okay, so the brush we're gonna use on Duke today is the slicker brush, okay? It's got little wire bristles, so we've gotta be fairly gentle with it. What we do is we start by just brushing against the grain of the coat. And also in the pants area, we come down as well as, as up. So as you can see, he's quite losing quite a bit of hair there. We'll get that out of the brush. That feel good, Jude? Good boy. Yeah. So what we do when we're brushing a dog is we're actually looking at the skin and the coat to see what sort of, as you can see there, you can see the, the skin. So we're looking at the skin to see what sort of shampoo we're going to use, Olivia. And we're also getting out, see the dandruff and bits of grit and grime? We're just loosening that up as well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Is that good? What we're going to do now is we're going to clean Duke's ears. Uh, we always use a separate baby wipe for each ear so there's no chance of any cross infection if the dog did have an ear infection. And what we do is we just use our finger and just gently massage inside the ear, just getting into all the crevices and often that feels really good for the dog. As you can see, he's got a little bit of dirt in his ears. If the dog has got a bit of gunk in their ear, what we can do also is spray some of our pine oil just to help loosen it up. So we spray that on the, uh, the baby wipe. Good boy. So what we're going to do now, Olivia, is we're going to uh, clip Duke's nails. We've got spe special nail clippers that we use when we do this. It's always important when you're clipping a dog's nails to make sure that you, um, you keep yourself a distance from the dog's face so that you're not going to get bitten if you, know, you accidentally hurt the dog. Um, what we do is we, um, when we are clipping the dog's nails, we're looking at the shape of the nail and as you can see there it's like a cocky's beak almost. Yep. So we're just going to take the very tip of that off. Just like that. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We're looking at each nail and we're judging each na nail on its own merits. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. 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 Good boy, good boy, good boy, Duke. So he's getting a, a manicure. There you go, good boy. Good boy, stay there. We're just taking the very tip off, um, just going on the side of caution, so we're not going to cut the quick. They do have a quick that runs down. So we're just going to cut one of the dew claws now. The dew claw is the nail on the inside of the foot. It's almost like a thumb. Yep, as you can see with Duke, he's, he got hit by a car once and so he's actually lost one of his toes. Good boy. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay. We're trying not to let him let pull away so he's not going to play a catchy game and turn it into a game. Good boy, stay there, stay. That nail's okay. Good boy.